how's it going? How are you doing? I hope you're doing great. I miss you. I'm sorry that there wasn't a video last week. Uh, long story short, I was at my mom's place visiting her and my dad in Vermont. Why did I say it like that? I did film a video up there, but it was low-key trash and you guys don't deserve trash. So for today, I thought it would be fun if I did a little musical theater tag. It looks like blog posters typically do this, um, but I saw some people do it on the YouTubes as well, and I wanted to join in on the fun. So let's get into it. Also, I'm sorry if the audio sucks for this because I have all of my windows open. It's summer in New York. I don't have air conditioning. Just gotta work with what I got. What was the first musical you ever saw? I think the first thing that I saw was actually Oliver. The only thing I can remember is like the kids singing Be Back Soon and, you know, Nancy getting beaten up to a bloody pulp. Anyways, what was your favorite musical growing up? I always feel like that when it comes to people being introduced to musicals, there's always a phase for each generation. And I felt like my generation was Wicked and Phantom and Phantom of the Opera was the one that I got into. Hardcore. I saw the 2004 movie with Gerard Butler, Emma Rossum, Patrick Wilson, and I was hooked. I was like, what is this? How do I get this into my life? This is all I need. It's all I need. It's all I need. Were you ever in a musical? Um, I'm just being a smart ass now. What was the first musical you saw on Broadway? Beauty and the Beast. That was the first musical that I saw. Didn't realize that there was a thing called musical theater when I saw it. I just remember that Christy Carlson Romano was playing Belle and I told my mom we have to friggin' see it. I just remember being so confused with where we were. I was just ready to see Kim Possible live her dreams as a Disney princess. It was great. I loved it. If you could be any female character in any musical, who would it be and why? It's either Eliza Doolittle in My Fair Lady or Lucille Frank in Parade. I just think those characters have such substance and such good material and especially with Parade, it's such a wild story to tell. You know, My Fair Lady, just because I grew up with the soundtrack, huge Julie Andrews fan through and through and it's just, I feel like that that's like the epitome of soprano lead characters to play. Next question! Which male character? Oh man, um, right now I've been like in a Tony from West Side Story kind of vibe because that's literally the only character I can play if I want to be considered for that show ever. So, um, hit me up if you want to do some gender bending. I mean, Sweeney Todd. <laughs> oh yeah, Sweeney Todd would be so much fun. That would be sick. That would be freaking sick. Favorite musical song to sing in the shower? This might sound weird, but I love singing Make Your Garden Grow in the shower <laughs> from Candide. Don't know why. I also sing My White Knight. Oh, Tonight from West Side Story? I don't know. Those are like the main go-tos. Make Your Garden Grow is like the one that I sing the most in the shower. Don't know why. It's a pretty melody. It's awesome. <laughs> That's it. Who is your favorite theater actress? Sierra Bogus was really a huge influence on me growing up, which is crazy to say because literally the last show that I performed in, she starred in it and I was like, and you know, Laura Benanti, Audrey McDonald, y'all, oh my god. People don't realize this, but Madeline Kahn was a theater actress first before becoming, you know, Mel Brooks's go-to girl. And I would have killed to see her in on the 20th century, even though that was literally close to impossible, but it's fine. I feel like if I say Pat Lapone, it's like, well, boom, obviously. Bernadette Peters. I could just go on. Who is your favorite theater actor? Manda Patinkin. <laughs> Mandy Patinkin. Are Y'all, you need to stop this video. Don't stop it, keep watching because I love you guys, please don't leave me. But y'all need to pause this video and go on the Instagram and start following Mandy Patinkin because he and his wife and his son are making videos that are just so fabulous and wonderful to watch and they're so flipping funny and they're so flipping real and so flipping honest. It's just, it's the best. Mandy Patinkin all day or a day. Danny Bernstein is also another favorite of mine. I don't understand why he doesn't have a Tony Award yet. It's BS. Brian Darcy James, Brian Stokes Mitchell, Nathan Lane. I'm doing great answering these specifically, but Mandy Patingen is like 
right up there. Favorite film adaptation of a musical? Honestly, Chicago. I really like that one. And I would also say Cabaret as well. I just think the way that they were filmed and the vision that they had for it to be a film adaptation, I just think they were just very well done. I, I would say that those two are like top tier, which is kind of ironic because they're both Candor and Ebb musicals. And yeah, I think that's, that's pretty neat to think about. Is it? Next. What do you think is the most underrated musical? I mean, I immediately want to say Parade. I would say Merrily, but a lot of people, but there's like such a huge following of that show. Maybe 110 in the Shade, which is basically the musical version of The Rainmaker. I, I think I remember people saying that they should have kept the name because that would have helped with ticket sales or something like that. But that one is a beautiful score. Jones and Schmidt, I mean, how can you not like Jones and Schmidt? How wow. I would definitely say 110 in the Shade and Parade. I think, yes, I don't, <laughs> wait, let me see. Let me see if I can quickly glance over here. If there's something... Oh, y'all are gonna think I'm crazy, but I don't give two flippy floppies. I love the Grey Gardens musical. I said it! I said it! I thought it was just so fascinating that someone watched that documentary of those two women and they're like, there's a musical in this. And they made it! Do you ever see it performed? No! Underrated. Y'all can come after me in the comments. I stand my ground, y'all. What do you think is the most overrated musical? I feel like I'm gonna get so much sass with this question. What's up? Oh, I'm just getting my tablet. All right. Most overrated musical. Most overrated musical. Shh, don't Period. say that. Honestly, I'm probably going to say Mamma Mia because everyone is flipping doing it and I'm so sick and tired of it. <laughs> I think it's just fluff, which is always fine, but I, you know, I bet my friend Gab is watching this and she is just screaming at me. Anyways. What musical made you cry? I watched the pre-Broadway workshop of The Secret Garden that's being directed and choreographed by Warren Carlyle. And the whole moment that they have with Colin learning how to stand and walk, that whole number, I was just, crying. <laughs> I was just dead. I was just like, how? This is insane. Even at the very end for the finale of the show, I was just, I died. And then they showed a picture of Rebecca Luker because it was in memory of her. And I lost it. I freaking lost it. It was stunning. I hope people were able to see it. I, I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. I wanted to come to Broadway so bad. What musical made you laugh? Spam a lot. I mean, it didn't make me laugh when I was in it. It was like the worst time of my life. Spam a lot is one of the funniest. The producers, of course. I mean, how can you not? I want to be Hold Me, Touch Me. <laughs> Forget Liza and Lucille Frank. I want to be Hold Me, Touch Me, the producers. <laughs> Are there any musicals you saw and hated? <sighs> okay. Now, granted, this was when I was super cocky and super like, and I send all the love to everyone who is a part of this show, but Chaplin the Musical. No, no, honey, I'm sorry. To me, it just felt so out of place. I thought it would have been so much better if it was a play with music, like similar to what they did with um, the play End of the Rainbow. That was stunning and perfection and ugh magic. Charlie Chaplin's life as a musical, it's just meh. The film that they got of Rob McClure as Chaplin in the silent movie moments was really cool. Very interesting how they did that stuff. I would be very surprised if any regional theaters do that show because well, technically he should be canceled because he's a low-key pedophile. The reason why I was so cocky about it and being like, hey, Maria, this sucks is because like, oh my God, this is so stupid. But basically I'm technically related to him. <laughs> so I immediately felt entitled of being like, I'm the spokesperson for our family. And I thought this was a huge disservice to Chaplin's work and legacy. I'm like his cousin five times removed or something. And technically I'm not even related to him by blood. I'm related to his children, but I'm related to 
Eugene O'Neill. And so it's like, that's a whole different story. If you want to know that story, let me know. But I was just such a prissy priss. Stupid, stupid. But I do hold my ground. I do think Chaplin was n shouldn't have been a musical. So much love to that team and creative people who were a part of it, but it didn't mesh with me. What musical do you want to see as a film? I'm literally looking around my room to see if I can see any shows that would inspire me to be like, oh, this should be one. I mean, I feel like Mary Lieber Rollong would be really interesting to do. I think it would be really cool if they like also use the effects of using certain film equipment and certain film techniques during the time periods that they're in. I think that would be really cool to like experiment with. Maybe Spring Awakening, maybe. That would be interesting to play, but I would say probably Mary Lee with Roll Along would be the most interesting one. People have also been teasing about a uh, Barbara Streisand in Gypsy movie that I'm just like, give me that shit. Which musicals are you dying to see? Some of the shows I can't see because they closed due to COVID. I really wanna see six. Hades Town. I want to see Hades Town so bad. Oh my god. I got hooked into Hades Town right when the pandemic hit and I was like, you're a flippin' idiot for not seeing this yet and all your friends told you to go see it because you're gonna love it and you haven't seen it yet and you suck. Any movie or book you think should be turned into a musical? I feel like that's kind of a hard question for me because I mainly watch documentaries and I read a lot of biographies. And so I feel like with those sort of sources, I think it's much better to do it as a play or play with music. But, <laughs> however, if I could choose like an artist, like a musical artist to take their music from to create a show, I think Billie Eilish should make a musical. There I said it, I said it. I think it would be fabulous. I think it would be a piece of art. I think it would be like, David Bowie Lazarus good, it, it would be sick. Billie Eilish musical, that's what I want. Okay, and the last question, what is your all-time favorite musical? I hate this question. <laughs> I can't just choose. It, it, it depends on my mood, it depends on where I am in my life. Like right now, I've been listening to Fiddle on the Roof nonstop in Hades Town. When I was making the video for Parade, that's all I listened to, and I was just like sucked into the beauty and the magic, and ugh, I wanna be in that show so bad. I feel like when people ask this question, it should be like more specific in terms of the time period. Like, what's your favorite musical from the 1950s? That would be much easier to answer. Would it? I think I would say for now, currently, I would say my favorite musical at the moment is Parade. The amount of substance in that show is insane. The score is stunning, the characters are so complex, the fact that it's based on a true story, it's just like... I just think it's a show that, you, that everyone can dig in really deep into and find all of these new facets about the story and new ways to bring these characters to life. It's a great book. It's a great score. I think this show should be done a bit more just because of where we are in the world. Um, Anti-Semitism has not gone away. It is still very prevalent. Yeah, I think I'm gonna say that. Parade. So that's all I got for today. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, give me a like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. We're a pretty chill bunch. We're pretty fun over here. May you be happy, healthy, safe, and at ease. And I will see you guys on Saturday. Bye.